All right, so we got a 2020 Wrangler here. The two liter turbo, which I don't know why the fuck you'd put one of these in a Wrangler and then put 35s on it, expect it to go anywhere. But the problem here is that it has a code P1CEA. It's for the uh, boost side evap purge system performance. So this particular customer, which I'm sure everybody else has, is they take their stock air box out. It's like, ooh, get more power. Yeah. So turns out that's not actually the case. And the way the system works is, since it's a turbo, if you know anything about how turbos work, there's oftentimes no manifold vacuum or positive va vacuum because not vacuum pressure because it's turbo it's what turbos do they put pressure in so the evap system works by way of vacuum it has to have some sort of suction source so the way this works is there's a series of hoses that are connected in here that go into the factory air box and when you remove all that stuff and have it plug into the little bung over here on this particular AFE model. The way the factory system works is it creates a vacuum in the whole intake system because of the turbo. Now when it's under boost it sucks harder so you have to have negative pressure to make positive pressure. Okay so when you have positive pressure with the old system it doesn't work because there's no vacuum in the intake. So how they do it is they use the suction side of the turbo. So when you modify the way that these hoses are ran by installing these crap aftermarket pieces, it changes the way the system runs and the computer can't handle it. And so when it goes to purge, it, the PCM detects that the fuel tank is not being sucked down and it throws you a an evap code. So what you have to do here to fix this is put all the stock shit back in or don't even mess with it in the first place because I can guarantee you that when the engineers sat down to make this thing this little two liter in this big old fucking Jeep they didn't go hmm how can we rob as much power out of this as possible no they sat down and they figured out how to make as much power as possible so when you change all this crap and put this aftermarket shit in here you know they're the aftermarket companies don't give a shit they're gonna write, yep, it'll pass, yep, whatever. So they can sell you products, that's what they do. They sell products, they don't give a shit about the end. They don't care if your check engine light's on. And you know, so like in this particular case, this guy brought this here, bought it from somewhere, and he thinks it's covered by warranty. But it's not, because it's modified. So he took it, well he didn't actually bring it here. Well he did bring it here, but he brought it to the dealership and they told him to pack sand because it's modified. So we brought it here because it didn't sound right, and so I went through the diagnostic procedure myself, and it turns out that it's actually true. It needs the factory airbox to make this system work. So, if you're in a situation where you're the owner of one of these, and you're like, Oh, this fucking warranty is bullshit, I got my Jeep Wrangler with my turbo! Then you're gonna have to fucking suck it up and fix it, or suck it up and deal with it. Because, I'm sorry, if that's just the way it is. No way to sugarcoat it. These newer vehicles don't take well to being modified because of the way the EPA set up you know the emission stuff so when you go in here and start fucking with this stuff it's not it's not like a 93 fucking jeep eagle whatever where you can just do whatever you want and put tape over the check engine light when the light comes on it affects other systems so you have to be careful with these newer models if you want to modify all this stuff then go buy a jk or a fucking tj or something